Fabulous, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make birthday cake protein ice cream. So if you love ice cream, but you're trying to lose weight, and you're trying to avoid ice cream because you think there's like too many calories, too much fat, and you just can't have it while you're trying to lose weight, then I have the perfect recipe for you. So today's protein ice cream is just as creamy and just as delicious as like regular like ice cream, but it's lower calorie and has over 33 grams of protein in it. So if you stay tuned today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this yummy birthday cake protein ice cream. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is Lindsay and this is my YouTube channel. It is Fit and Fabulous and I make videos like this every single week. And my whole goal is to teach women how to lose weight for good and a healthy and sustainable way so they can have more energy and have more confidence and just feel so good in their skin. And I believe that protein is key, especially when it comes to losing weight. So I like to create delicious, yummy, high protein recipes so you can enjoy some of your favorite foods of uh, losing weight and becoming fit and fabulous. So if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as notifications so you guys never miss a video like this in the future. Plus, if you do like this type of video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, ding! And that way I know to make more videos like this in the future. So if you're ready to learn how to make birthday cake protein ice cream, then let's get started. The very first thing you are gonna need is you're gonna need a blender cup because we are gonna be baking our birthday cake protein ice cream in our blender today. So grab yourself any sort of blender cup. Now today I'm gonna be using the Nutra Ninja just because I really like it. I find it's a little bit high powered. So yeah, so go and grab yourself a blender cup because we're gonna need it. So our very first ingredient we are gonna be putting into our blender cup today is some frozen cubes of light coconut milk. So I just froze like basically a half a cup of the light coconut milk. She'll actually show you guys exactly which light coconut milk I used today. So I just got this at Walmart. It was like two or three dollars or something. It was like super cheap. Um, so it says light coconut milk. So you just wanna make sure again that you get the light coconut milk because if you just get regular coconut milk, it's definitely gonna be a lot thicker and there's gonna be more calories and more fat in it. So it's not what we want looking for like the healthier version. Of course, all you need to do is like make frozen cubes of like the coconut milk. You're just gonna need a tray. So I like to use the silicone one just because it's super easy to kind of like pop out the cubes. Um, but yeah, obviously you just wanna put like the coconut milk in there and then freeze it for at least like four hours, six hours. I just froze this yesterday. So they are nice and hard. So we're gonna take our frozen cubes of the almond milk and then put them into the blender cup. Now, if you guys don't have like the coconut milk, then you can definitely use frozen cubes of the unsweetened almond milk. It's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just not gonna be quite as thick and quite as creamy. I have tried it both ways, although I do really like it with the unsweetened almond milk. I do prefer it with the light coconut milk, again, just because it makes it so much more creamy. Next, we need to add in a little bit of liquid. So I'm just gonna be using some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. So this is just some of the liquid, of course, for our ice cream. In today's recipe, we're just gonna be using a half a cup of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. The next thing that we need to add to our ice cream is some protein powder. So today I'm gonna to be using some level one protein powder by First Form, and this is the vanilla ice cream flavor. Now, this protein powder is a little bit on the thicker side, so if you guys have a protein that maybe doesn't seem quite as thick when you guys like make like smoothies and shakes and stuff with it, you probably need to add like a little bit more. So, yeah. <laughs> So again, I'm just gonna be using one scoop of the vanilla ice cream flavored protein by Level One. So one scoop is actually 37 grams. So it's about yay big. Now when you guys actually add like your scoop of protein into the blender cup, again, just make sure like it's 37 grams because some scoop sizes for like different proteins are definitely a lot smaller. So be sure it's 37 grams. So we're gonna be adding our protein into 
the blender cup. Next, we're gonna be adding in some pasteurized egg whites into our protein ice cream. So of course, this is gonna add a little bit more protein into our ice cream today as well. It's gonna help kind of like thicken up and kind of like help bind everything together. And it doesn't really add like too much flavor, just kind of adds like a little bit more bulk, more than anything. So like I was saying, we're gonna be adding in a third of a cup into our ice cream. Also, I forgot to mention that if you guys are looking for any of the links for anything that you see in today's video, all the links will be in the description box down below this video. So all you need to do is just kind of scroll down. There's gonna be like a little arrow on the side. You hit that. There's gonna be a little description box and you will see all the links in there. So if you guys have any questions or if you're looking for anything, like I said, in this video today, be sure to check out the description box. Next, we're gonna be adding in just a little bit of sweetness into the recipe today. So I'm just gonna be adding in one tablespoon of swir. So whatever kind of like low calorie sweetener or zero calorie sweetener you guys like to use on a regular basis, that's what you can use. But I do like to use Swerve just because I personally find that it's like the best tasting like sugar replacement. It's got zero calorie and it's just a little bit more natural. So I don't know, I just really like the taste of it. So today we're gonna be adding one tablespoon into our recipe. Next, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of powdered vanilla pudding. Now, you guys can totally get like the fat-free version if you want, but I found, I think the calories are basically the same as like 20 calories per like tablespoon of like the dry mix. So this is just like the regular one because I couldn't find the fat-free version. I think since like COVID hit, basically like everybody's buying pudding or maybe there's like a pudding shortage or something. So I've just had to opt for like the regular one which whatever, I'm fine with it. So this is just gonna add a little bit more vanilla flavor into our protein ice cream today. Now, if you guys don't wanna put like the vanilla pudding in, you don't have to, I mean, it's totally up to you. Or if you just wanna use like real vanilla, you can. It's just gonna make it a little bit darker and maybe just not quite as creamy, just because it's a little bit more liquid, so. FYI. So in today's recipe, we're just gonna be adding in one tablespoon of the powdered vanilla pudding. So the next ingredient we are gonna be using is a little bit of exanthem gum. So exanthem gum is typically used in like gluten-free baking. It's basically like the binding agent. Um, so the reason why we're putting it into our protein ice cream today is just to kind of make it a little bit thicker and just kind of make it more of like that ice cream consistency more than anything. Um, so we're just gonna be using a half a teaspoon in today's recipe. Now, if you guys don't have exanthem gum or you can't find it at the grocery store, it's not really, it's not like the end of the world if you guys don't put it in your recipe. It's just not gonna be quite as thick. If you guys have it, great, but if you don't have it, then whatever, it's not, it's not really a big deal. So like I was saying, we're just gonna be putting in a half a teaspoon in today's recipe. So we have our mix there, we got everything in there now. So now what we need to do is we need to put the lid on. And we need to put that onto the blender. Give it a couple little shakes. All right, friends, we have our protein ice cream. So I'm gonna see if it'll pour into the bowl. It is super thick. Woo! Oh, jeez. Look at that. And we need to add a few sprinkles because you can't have birthday cake protein ice cream without a few sprinkles, like so. So I really do think like the magical ingredients in this is the frozen coconut milk for sure. Like look at that, mmm, so good. Now, if you want to take this and actually put it in the freezer, it's really good like that too. Like look at that, mmm. I'm telling you, this is like a thousand times better than any other protein ice cream that I've ever tried in my entire life. I'm telling you, it's so good. 33 grams of protein, it's so thick and it's like super filling. And look, that's like one container and there's still like a little bit left in there. I could definitely, I mean, I don't think it's gonna come out, but I can definitely add more to it. And that's one serving, you guys. It's actually insanity. Freaking good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Again, it's super good and delicious and good for you. And you can totally eat it if you're trying to lose weight. 
So if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you guys decide to try this recipe and I would love to know if you guys love it just as much as I do. So that is everything. I hope you all have an amazing day and I can't wait to see you in the next video. All right, love you.